we're not all comfortable on camera. Some people are, but some people are just more camera shy. That means that they're not really used to being on camera or being photographed. What I would do when I approach people in the streets to do street portraits, I would kind of like match their energy. Let me explain. If I'm approaching the person and I notice that they're a little shy, my approach will be a little bit different. Firstly, I'm going to compliment them you know, to make them feel a little bit more comfortable, give them a little bit more confidence. If they're really unsure about wanting to be photographed, I would show them my work to show them that, uh, you know, I know how to take photos and that, you know, I do consider myself a pretty good photographer. But something else that I would do is tell them that, hey, if you don't like the photo, I will delete it right in front of you and we don't talk about it after. Deal? Yeah, I would literally just say something like that and they would be like, okay, Deal. I do this because it kind of makes them a little bit more comfortable. You know, like they have this option to just have the photo deleted if they don't like it, right? And I have to say, after a year of doing this, I have yet to have somebody <laughs> tell me to delete the photos. So yeah, it's going pretty good. But the goal of doing this is to make them feel more comfortable and confident in themselves and in their looks. Now there's a couple of other things you could do. You can have some icebreaker phrases that you use Right? For example, I like to tell them that, you know, I like their style or I like to ask them about their style, you know, like what inspired them to wear a certain type of hat or if they have tattoos, I would ask them about their tattoos. It's important to show that you have interest in their choice, right? In their choice of tattoos, their choice of style, their choice of clothing, right? Show that you approach them for a reason, like they stood out to you. This will help them feel more special and more comfortable to being photographed. That's a very important tip. That's a very important tip. Now, I've spoken about this a little bit in a previous video, but what you could also do is ask them to pose. Now, I'm not a big fan of this, but it can be done well. It can be done well. When I say ask them to pose, I'm talking about minimal posing, right? And you also have to show them the pose as you're asking them to pose. But keep it minimal, right? Don't overcomplicate it for them, you know? You can ask them to maybe have a hand on the face, Right? You can ask them to maybe have hands in the pocket or maybe put their foot or their leg a certain type of way, right? Or maybe ask them to shift on one side or on the other side. Just little things like that. But it's important to try to read their face and to read their expression to see what, what they would be comfortable with and what they wouldn't be comfortable. And another thing that I do, and this is the, the, golden, the golden thing that I do that always works is to ask them what makes them happy in life. Now, this is another icebreaker phrase that you can ask them, right? Or you can even ask them questions like, you know, uh, what is a great lesson that they learn in life? Or who's the most important person to them in their life? Now, questions like that will allow them to open up a little bit more and feel a little bit more comfortable, especially if you ask them what makes them happy in life. Because talking about what brings you joy will automatically make you smile. And once they're smiling, once they're feeling good, that is when I capture the moment. I capture that smile, I capture the photo. And another thing which works, whether the person you're photographing is shy or more comfortable on camera, is encouragement. Keep encouraging them. Keep giving them compliments as you're photographing them. Don't just be quiet like that. No, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna encourage them a little bit. Like say, oh yeah, that was a nice pose. Or wow, I really like how you had your hand, how you had your arms, you know? You wanna compliment them as they're posing so that they feel like they're doing something right. They feel comfortable and they feel like you're rooting for them. But don't overdo it, right? You don't wanna creep them out. So with moderation, make them feel comfortable, but don't creep them out, okay? Now the best reaction that I would get from these interactions is after I show them the photo, they'd be like, wait, that's me? You know, it's almost like they wouldn't recognize themselves in the photo. Almost like they didn't know they could be this beautiful. Now, another point I'm gonna make is in order to make the subject feel comfortable, you yourself have to be comfortable. So make sure you're prepared, make sure your camera settings are on point, right? Because you don't wanna be in front of the subject, you know, changing out your camera settings. Because listen, that happened to me quite a few times and it's it's awkward, right? So you, you yourself, don't want to be the awkward one in the situation. So make sure you practice, make sure you keep doing it. Listen, you might not be good at it at first, but the more you do it, the more you practice, the more you will improve and the better you will get. And if the person sees that you, the photographer, you're really comfortable and you know what you're doing, automatically they will 
feel more comfortable in return. That's gonna be it from me for this video. If you liked it or if you enjoyed it, learned something new from it or found it entertaining, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this month. I talk about it all in this video or you can watch this video here where I talk about photographing using natural light. And thank you so much for watching this video. Stay creative, keep creating and God bless you.